a lot of people bought tickets for this tour more than two years ago. Oh, yeah. It's amazing to be performing, and it's amazing how few people returned their tickets, just held on to them for over two years. My goodness! Audiences on this tour are just thirsty for a good time and music and a little levity. It is so good to finally be here among friends and familiar faces. That energy is feeding back to us and we're having the best time out here. We're sorry about rescheduling it. It was just, it was like one of us or the other just didn't feel like coming. <laughs> the work ethic of Bare Naked Ladies is so against not doing a show that it's been a rough couple years. Yeah, this is the tour three summers in the making. Now we're back doing what we love and we're in the thick of it. It feels amazing. It's the perfect time of year. Here. I appreciate being on the road more. Yeah. I appreciate the, you know, being with the guys and sharing music. I also am just super in touch with how grateful I am that we still get to do this. And to have the crew that we have, you know, supporting us so that we can achieve this high level. Important part of the day when Keith loads my mic stand up with extra picks. It's not quite the heavy metal days when there was picks all up and down the whole mic stand. We're on a budget. Yeah. He's no Gene Simmons. <laughs> I like to listen to good music. It makes me feel like playing, you know? Like when you see a good concert, it makes you feel like playing. So I want to get in that mood. Maybe this was made for Rod Stewart. I wouldn't say I'm 100% out of harm's way in the big cities, but back here it's cool. I got a Dayhan fold-up bike. It doesn't really fold anymore. We had to weld it shut. It still serves a purpose as a great tour bike. Put it under the bus. Ed, he likes to do the pinball thing. And... I have always had a game on the road with me, and now I've got the Rush game, which I helped design. Eight of the 20 plus songs we're doing on the tour are from the new record, which I think in a way is asking a lot of the audience, but we're giving them a lot in return. They seem to be loving it, and we're loving it too, because we feel like we're living in the present. The show forces us to be really engaged because it's very challenging with so much new material. As a kid, I thought it was the ocean. Now I'm taking on water on a man made lake. Yeah, I get, I, I love that we play man made lake every night. It's one of my faves. Yeah. I'm just a boy I know. The secret to the longevity of Bare Naked Ladies is caring about the longevity of Bare Naked Ladies. Coming up on 34 years, I have often said to people, I like it more than ever. It's nice to be able to look forward into your future and see these guys in it and it feeling good. I think it's great. I think it's just about being fun and, and making people laugh. Is that all I am to you, Kev? I'm your fucking puppet now? <laughs> It's fun to sing together, and we work on it. That's one thing this band has always done, is worked on the harmonies. Funny, this morning, we're in the elevator, and they have the advertisements of all the shows coming up, and uh, it was Death Cab for Cutie came up to us. Death Cab for Cutie? What kind of band is that? And I was like, oh, you know, they're really, they got great songs. Yeah, but 
what kind of name is that? I was like, well, it kind of conjures a story to me. She goes, oh, oh the Bare Naked Ladies, you going to Bare Naked Ladies? I went, yep, I'm going to Bare Naked Ladies. Yeah, that's going to be great. Jim Blossoms and going, holy shit, we gotta work our asses off. Yeah. They gotta work for this sort of thing, and I'm pretty sure it's super crew. It's part of our thing. Every every time we do this, we try to encourage uh, collaborations throughout the show. Sometimes you gotta take life in the face. I got C-O-V-I-D in Cincinnati. We rescheduled this show two summers in a row. Then we finally got here and had to cancel. Postpone. Yeah, we're here now. One what? of us got COVID. One yeah. of us. I Not saying any name. A hint, he's wearing a hat. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> we gonna roll out, take over and we finally get to cap it off here in Cincy in our hometown Toronto show tomorrow night. Hometown. Hometown show. Mixture of glorious euphoria and stress of making sure you didn't forget someone you were supposed to invite. I spend the first couple songs going, did I forget? My son. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's so good to be able to do the thing you feel you're really good at and watch people enjoying it. It's kind of my favorite part of the show, too. That's a ride.